We've got a blizzard coming and our new snowplow showed up just in the nick of time. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of the story. Let's back this up. Hydraulically adjustable between plow mode and pusher mode. So when you're in the cab, you can go from plow mode to pusher mode and back again. I don't think anything we ever do when it gets to be one degree out is ever easy. What's going on? We got the, did the slide start? Slide started just fine. The ASP just. Is it even trying to turn over? Cause you could have bumped a switch coming in and out, which disconnects the, the electrical on it because <laughs> it was running less than nine hours ago last night just yeah, fine right it just fine just turned it off and... okay the weatherman is reporting eight to ten inches of snow coming over the next two days with 40 to 50 mile an hour winds going to be gusting and blowing he says that it's going to be blizzard conditions without it snowing it's going to be so bad here it is we're gonna meet Godfrey. He just drove all the way from Illinois. Godfrey. Alrighty. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Hooked up. So this does run off from both a hydraulic attachment and an electrical attachment. Now the uh, ASV has what's called an eight-pin electrical setup. Uh, other pieces of equipment typically have a, like a 14-pin. So we got to connect it to here as well as to here to make this operate. this unit operates. We're finally an adjustable wing plow that has nearly all the advantages of an arctic sectional pusher and an arctic sectional power angle plow all in one unit. There are other wing plows on the market but none of them offers arctic's patented and unmatched true sectional features and benefits which allows the plow to self-level and contour to the pavement, trip over obstacles and shear off hard pack snow and ice scraping down to pair to bare pavement in a single pass. So this, if we hit a curb or something, one section will flip up and the cutting edge will flip over, but the rest of it has a clean scrape all the way down. Forgiving impact absorbing poly block design. So right here, these are shock absorbers. These are shock absorbers. And they will take the brunt of the, and they are designed to break. They are designed to break so the rest of the unit doesn't break on it. Pin in place, pivoting slip hitch mounting system. Right here, so this is the mounting slip hitch right here. So this is designed to allow the whole unit to float separately from the machine itself. And when the unit floats separately, what it does is that follows the contours, the machine drives ahead, and this stays on the ground. AR400 spring loaded trip cutting edges. Here's the actual cutting edges come down underneath here. So here you go. You can actually see them underneath there. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other key features. All hydraulic hoses are identical, making repairs and part stocking simple. If you break one, they're identical. If you've got one hose, you got your back in business for all of them. 14 pin electrical connector comes as standard. So this unit takes two, two separate hookups, a hydraulic hookup and an electrical hookup to do it. So in a sense, it's a little bit more married to a piece of equipment than say any other arctic which you can put on anything that has a standard setup hydraulic plow hydraulically angles up to 25 degrees per side free floating wings so let's talk about these wings here real quick 
hydraulically adjustable between plow mode and pusher mode. So when you're in the cab, you can go from plow mode to pusher mode and back again. These wings have their own trip cutting edge and they are AR400 spring loaded trip cutting edge on each wing that conforms to the pavement and scrapes to the ground. So right here is the AR400 trip cutting edge. One thing to note, the wings do not fold all the way back. They'll go straight, they'll go into containment, and the entire plow will angle. And I'm going to ask the engineer that developed this why they won't fold back. In just a moment. All right, let's put her to a real test and start moving some snow. Okay, so there's one other thing that we need to bring up. They've got two sizes. This is the smaller size, the SWLD8. And let's go 8.7 in pusher mode up to 11.10 in plow mode and weighs 1,900 pounds. The next size up goes 11.1 in pusher mode. That means fully contained up to 14 and a half foot in plow mode. And that weighs 2,150 pounds. So wait a minute, what do you mean the wing is patent pending? That's what was you were waiting on? What, what's going on with that, Blake? Yeah, so we should be receiving our patent in like the summer, okay. but we are patent pending on the wing, how it floats up and down, how the trip edge always contours to the ground, and how it has the trip mechanism built in. Mm -hmm. We have a, we're patent pending on that. Oh. So that's our original technology. Well, you know, Blake, I mean, I've known you for a while now. But the weird thing is, is I still don't know what you actually technically do for Arctic. <laughs> so I am um, one of the owners, right? One of the brothers, uh -huh. um, middle, middle child. And I am just the chief mechanical engineer. So I'm over, I oversee all product development, all product testing, and just all of our product lines in general. So that's what I do. How, I'm an engine. What? How long have you guys been working on it? Because you and Lucas, right, both have been working on this thing for a long time. How long have you guys been working on it? We've been working on this, you know, snow wing type plow, like a scoop plow design, for 10 years. Holy this crap. This exact design has been five years. This is the design that won out five years ago. Right, we saw that this was a better way to do it, and we stuck with that. And then you took this, and if I know you guys, you probably put it to test inside of your own fleet. I'm guessing. Did you or no? Yes. Yeah, we do. We have multiple generations of the plow. Three generations tested in our fleet, and then two generations on pickup trucks that were tested. Uh, oh man! Yeah. All so right. So, well, what yeah. do you what do you say to people when they say that you're just copying Metal Plus? I mean, what what is your response to something like that? Uh, my response is, you know, we're both wing plows, and that's where the similarities stop. Uh -huh. We have a fully sectional mold board, which is you know original to our design, and we've always done that. That separates us from everyone else. Mm -hmm. But also our wing. Um, you know, it isn't just a, a wing welded to a hinge, welded to a mold board. Um, it's a fully floating wing that is designed to trip up and down over obstacles safely, but also always con towards the ground and effectively scrape, not just push snow. Okay, so what you're actually talking about, Blake, if I'm understanding you correctly, is that you get a greater range of movement because your entire mold board will go down versus just that little tiny cutting edge on the bottom, right? 
Exactly. We can go into depressions, like a pothole or a dip in the ground, and we can also go up and over raises in the ground. And we can trip up and over obstacles up to nine inches tall. Nine inches. Now, will the wings, the side wings, do that too? Will they? How much movement will those take? The side wings were designed to hit a six-inch curb head-on. Head-on? Yep. With no problem. With no problem in any orientation. You could be po uh, push remote into it. You could be straight blade into it. You could hit it out of off angle and you could even go backwards over the curb. All right, well, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that to the test for sure. All right, let me ask you something. Um, I noticed that it doesn't go, the wings don't go all the way back. I But that's not something, your guys' testing, was that a... Uh, is that something you did intentionally, or, or what's the what's the deal? Why don't they fold all the way back? You know, good question. We tested three different wings on this plow over the years, and this is the one that won out. What we pretty much determined is that none of our operators ever used the wings in a folded back position. Mm -hmm. They were either always running it as a pusher with the wings all the way forward, or some iteration of a power angle where the wings were in a straight back position. So we noticed that having those two main positions as a preset, you know, you could put the wings out and it hits the pressure mode perfectly. You could pull the wings back and they hit straight blade mode perfectly. Yep. Gives you everything you need to do. And you can back drag in straight blade mode. The yep. only plus we saw folded back wings was you could back drag a little bit narrow of a spot, but that outweighed the, the benefits outweighed that with the design, how we have it now. I mentioned all the pins are greasable. We haven't really seen that from anyone, especially the main hinge pins, like two feet long pins. Mm -hmm. Those have greasers in them and they grease that entire hinge at the same time. So so, we, those so you, hit the, you hit the top and it'll go all the way through and you're talking about on the wings, right? Yep, yeah, we sent those pins out to a gun bore driller and they drill it almost all the way through so that we can get grease along that whole hinge. And you're saying nobody else is doing that? We haven't seen it from our, you know, experience or market. Do you know the price point of these plows, Blake? I mean, I know you're the engineer and the designer, so you're really selling them's not your thing. Do you know what they're going for, though, out on the market? Yeah, right now the uh, eight foot version is around twenty three thousand dollars, and the ten and a half foot version is around twenty six and a half thousand dollars. Okay. This is the hardest pack stuff we have all throughout the entire complex. We don't have anything worse right here. And that's because this lot has never been plowed and they come through here with all of their uh, trucks and they park and they do whatever. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try to scrape this off right here. like that. Let me hit her again.
sack. Anything? No. I think you demonstrated the, its ability to be able to plow, what you can do for back dragging. I was very shocked and surprised that it busted this out. I did not think that. That was hard packed, driven over by trucks all winter long. Uh, it just it just went through it like it was nobody's business. You gotta you got remember, it's got considerable weight to it as well compared to a normal Arctic as well. 1800, 1910 pounds. Kind of wish we would have got the next size bigger. RT75, this machine comes in at 9,800 pounds. And this is the SDL-8. Uh, so this will go from 8 foot uh, 10 to 11 foot. Um, yeah, I think that's going to call it for this one. We're going to be putting this thing to the test tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. 8 to 10 inches of snow coming with 40 and 50 mile an hour winds. So it's gonna be, even when it's done snowing, with the winds coming in, they're gonna be considering it a ground blizzard at that point, so it'll be interesting to see. All right, well, let's get our path up to the top of the hill so we can mount the camera so you guys can see the lot. Oh, king of the hill, right? Well, Minnesota certainly hasn't let us down, at least not in our neck of the woods. We've gotten almost as much snow in the last four weeks as we'll get over the course of an entire season, which makes it the perfect test ground to really put this new, this new snow wing through the gamut. So if you guys wanna see how well it can hold up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep your eye open for it in future videos. to be a long way up. It's to be a long night after you're climbing snow banks and plowing and working in the cold. And... But it's all good. Ooh, well. That came just in the nick of time, you guys. We got her hooked up, trouble shot, all the connections figured out, figured out how she operates and uh, tightened up and ready to go. But that's it for this one, you guys. The journey just has begun because it's gonna get interesting with this new plow, I have a feeling. God bless you guys, go get them. We'll catch you guys on another one. Hi, baby, oh, you're a good girl. You go girl. You you go girl. Catch you guys later.